Hello everyone, The316 here with another Marvel Legends review. This time I have the 85 years anniversary of Marvel, Astonishing Wolverine. The box art just says Wolverine on it, but this is the Astonishing suit that he wears in the Astonishing X-Men series. Figure retail for $24.99, and I got mine from a pre-order on Amazon. If you are looking for this figure, here is the UPC code. And uh, since we're here, might as well take a look at the box. His belt is a little different on the artwork, uh, but I think his belt has looked different in the comics, or rather, these set of comics before. doesn't say anything about him being from the Astonishing series. There is no write-up. I thought that was a bit interesting, because uh, I recently got the Cabal 3-pack, which should be uh, next Friday's review. That or... Uh, Superior Spider-Man, whichever guys... Which Do you want Superior Spider-Man or the Cabal 3-pack next week? Let me know. I'll probably do Cabal since it just came out. But Anyway, we're here to talk about Wolverine. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. So he comes with two different head sculpts. He comes with the masked head sculpt here. And this unmasked head sculpt, which looks great. I believe they're using some photo real tech on this. And they did a good job. Uh, the other Wolverine head sculpts I've seen in years past, rather than these more recent ones, they all kind of looked weird, but this one looks good. Just a solid, like, person that looks like Wolverine, you know? And he comes with three sets of hands. He comes with the claw hands, which we'll take a look at in a minute. He also comes with the, you know, just straight-up fist hands, no claws. And he also comes with a set of hands that are uh, unique to each other. So he comes with a left-pointing finger and a right uh, open hand figure, finger, fig, right open handed hand. I, anyway, you can see on this hand that he's got some like extra silver paint on it. That's probably not intentional. I uh, just thought that was something to note. That's the only major QC issue I've seen. But let's go ahead and take a look at Wolverine here. Now, uh, as you all know, the movie comes out today, at least when I'm uh, uploading this video. Uh, and I have seen the movie. Uh, you guys aren't ready for that movie, let me tell you. Oof, that's a good movie. But back to the figure here. Really love that uh, masked head sculpt here. There is a little bit of uh, paint chipping on the nose here. Uh, that's that's my bad. This guy has fallen over more than once, so uh, just be careful about that. You might get some paint chipping on the nose. Thankfully, it's not too bad. Uh, don't know why he's not standing upright. He's kind of like leaning. Anyway. Yeah, he looks good here. Glad to have him. The yellow color, it's very nice. It's very vibrant yellow. Uh, um, so this piece is, or both of these pieces are yellow, painted blue. This is painted yellow. I'm surprised they didn't just leave that blank. That does look a bit strange. I can definitely tell it's painted yellow, be at least on this part, because you can see how some of the blue is coming through on that yellow. At least I'm pretty sure it's painted, because it looks to be just a slightly different color to this yellow. Uh, you know, he's got the, like, I guess, tiger stripes? I don't know, on the sides here. Those are not painted. Those ones are just the plastic. Maybe that. Maybe this portion was too small to mask. I'm not sure. Uh, I do like his shoulder pieces here. You can see that they're attached to the top of the shoulder. Hold on. There you go. You can see that little strap there. So, you know, he can get all the range of movement, and it, the shoulders don't get in the way, and they're free-flowing. So, you know, if you want to have them back here for some reason you can do that if you want him up front you could do that as well that's good uh, he does use the uh, lightning collection style of articulation where there's an ab crunch and then there is the uh, upper diaphragm joint or ball joint rather uh, his arms here what i really like about his arms is that they have they're, they're not just printed but they're actually molded if you come to the back here you can see some mold lines of some hair detail on his uh, uh, biceps R biceps yeah that sounds right forearm bicep all right we're good <laughs> uh, I did not sleep well from uh, seeing the movie last night I th if, if it wasn't already obvious uh, the legs here they're pinless too this looks good it does break up the sculpt a little bit when you move them but really it's not that big a deal I mean you know, you're going to get that with action figures that are pinless anyway. Um, these parts are painted yellow. This this is a little bit more yellow than this is. I feel like they only put like two layers here and three layers up here, but again, I'm not sure. Oh, here are the claw hands since we're here. 
they look good these ones are nice and straight but these ones as you can see they're not as straight i kind of try to like flay them out just a little bit but uh, it doesn't work very well <laughs> uh, i'll go ahead and swap his head why not it's only five minutes into the review oh that snap he actually comes out of the box with the mast sculpt off so this is what you see when you take him out of the box and yeah it looks good you know, no complaints from me here. Uh, you know, I, I do wish they had a like a, a neck option too, like give him a fleshy neck, but that's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our size comparison. So, Astonishing Wolverine here stands at uh, six inches, just under six inches tall. Cool. Now I would show you guys him with the rest of my Avengers, but uh, I'll put that in. Uh, I'll make that a separate YouTube short, probably tomorrow. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see how he looks next to some of the other Marvel 85 year anniversary figures. So, uh, the same time I pre-ordered this guy, I also pre-ordered Superior Spider-Man. Try and get him to stand as a challenge too, but not as much. There you go. And let's go ahead and get the Cabal 3-pack in here, since I already talked about them. Starting with Doctor Doom. The Iron Patriot. And Taskmaster. Oop. Superior. You know, he, he may be called Superior Spider-Man, but he falls pretty easily. It's those big-ass uh, uh, spider legs. Anyway, I think he looks great next to all of these other figures. I think he looks nice against uh, Doctor Doom, the green versus the yellow, like like very very vibrant yellow versus the very just kind of like flat solid green. It, it, it looks good, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see this figure or the Cabal three pack next week. Uh, I'll probably do Cabal three pack, but I don't know if there's enough people that want Scarlet Spider or no, Superior Spider Man. Uh, just Put it in the comments. Which one of the reviews do you want? I'll probably, like I said, probably do uh, the Cabal 3 pack. Might be a Tuesday review even. Maybe I'll do both. Anyway, uh, no other size comparisons needed for today. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell. It all helps out the channel. And as always, peace.